grade five. So now we're getting into two digit and two digit multiplication. You'll find this in chapter six of your textbook on page 166, I believe. And we're starting with multiplicating, multiplying with arrays. And arrays are just basically building the number. So we've got 19 by 23. So I built my array 19 and 23, and 23 across. So I'll show you how that works in just a second. I will say that a lot of, te uh, a lot of parents are going to find this difficult, this method of doing it. Um, kids, we will do this a lot in class. So you will get used to building with arrays. But if you find that arrays are too difficult and you're better with the pencil and paper, I will show you that method after. So this video may be a little longer because I'm really showing you two totally different ways of doing this. And either one you pick will be fine with me. So we've got 19 times 23. So I'll show you how an array works. So I've got my 3 in the 1's place. And I've built it, th it's three across and 10 across, sorry, three down and 10 across. And this one is three down and nine across, which it doesn't really show on this array, so I apologize for that, it's hard to see. So I know that three times 10 is 30, and three times nine is 27. And you always do the three times whatever is in the ones place first, so I'm going to put my 27 first. So I've got my two numbers, my 27 and my 30. And I'm going to leave them underneath there. And that's how I get those two numbers. Then in my array, you can see I've got a bigger part of the array, and that's 20, which is in my tens place, times the 9, which is in the ones place, and 20 times the 10. So I built this number right here, and you can see how tw 2 times 9 is 18, because we've done work with the 10s the and multiplying. So I've got 180 there, and 2 times 1 is 2. But because I'm in the 10s place, I have to add that extra zero. So now I've got 200 instead of 20, okay? So then I've got all these numbers. So what I'm going to do with those numbers is total them. Okay, grade five. So now we're getting into two digit and two digit multiplication. You'll find this in chapter six of your textbook on page 166, I believe. And we're starting with multiplicating, multiplying with arrays. And arrays are just basically building the number. So we've got 19 by 23. So I built my array 19 and 23, and 23 across. So I'll show you how that works in just a second. I will say that a lot of, te uh, a lot of parents are going to find this difficult, this method of doing it. Um, kids, we will do this a lot in class. So you will get used to building with arrays. But if you find that arrays are too difficult and you're better with the pencil and paper, I will show you that method after. So this video may be a little longer because I'm really showing you two totally different ways of doing this. And either one you pick will be fine with me. So we've got 19 times 23. So I'll show you how an array works. So I've got my 3 in the 1's place. And I've built it, th it's three across and 10 across, or sorry, three down and 10 across. And this one is three down and nine across, which it doesn't really show on this array, so I apologize for that, it's hard to see. So I know that three times 10 is 30, and three times nine is 27. And you always do the three times whatever is in the ones place first, so I'm going to put my 27 first. So I've got my two numbers, my 27 and my 30. And I'm going to leave them underneath there. And that's how I get those two numbers. Then in my array, you can see I've got a bigger part of the array, and that's 20, which is in my tens place, times the 9, which is in the ones place, and 20 times the 10. So I built this number right here, and you can see how tw 2 times 9 is 18, because we've done work with the, 
the tens and multiplying. So I've got 180 there. And 2 times 1 is 2. But because I'm in the tens place, I have to add that extra zero. So now I've got 200 instead of 20. Okay? So then I've got all these numbers. So what I'm going to do with those numbers is total them. So when, when I'm finished with my multiplication, if I'm doing it with arrays, I still have to total. So 7 and 0 is 7. 8 plus 2 is 10. 9, 10, 11. And then I'm carrying that 1, and I have 4. So it should be 417. That should be my total at the very, very end. The other way to do this, grade fives, and for parents, is the way that the, your parents probably learned it, which is pencil and paper. And now I'm going to show you that method, and you may find it confusing. We will do it more than once in class, so you will get used to it. But if at the end of the unit you're still struggling with this, come in and see me because you do need to practice this. It's something you need to know. So I always start with whatever is in my ones place on the bottom, and I'm going to multiply it with whatever's in the ones place above. So 3 times 9. And just like before, 3 times 9 is 27. So I'm going to put my 7 there. I'm going to carry my 2. Now I'm going to go 3 times 1. 3 times 1 we know is 3. And then I have to add my 2. So that's a 5. Okay. Now, for my tens place, excuse me, I didn't show that. So you see I multiply the 3 times the 9 and the 3 times the 1. So if it helps you to draw it in with different colors, do that. Now we're going to go to our tens place, and I'm going to use a different color. So 2 times 9, obviously 18. Now, when I multiply, I have to put a 0 here. And I have to put a zero here because now I'm in the tens place. So 2 times 9 is 18. Okay? And I'm going to carry the 1. And forget about this. It's not there anymore. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 more. So I'm now multiplying the 2 times this 1. So whatever I multiply by with my 1 over here, I'm going to multiply up top over here as well with my whatever's in my tens place. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. And I'm going to put that right over there. Okay, so remember to start at the 1's place. Don't start over here. That might change your answer. So I'm going to have a 7, 8, and a 5. Well, I know 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 3 more is 13. 